Yes. You know, regarding the religious issues in Iran, only in Tehran, we have 32 synagogues. Can you believe that? Only in Tehran, we have 32 synagogues. While it is a Muslim country, and the majority, more than 95% are Muslims. We have the oldest church in the world. It is located in Iran. If you just look at my Twitter page, you will see the pictures. It is there. The most beautiful synagogues in Tehran. The most, or let's say the oldest church in the world is in Iran. Mr. Titus rightly referred to Cyrus, we call him Purosh, is one of the kings of Iranian dynasties which lived almost more than 2,500 years ago. And the first regulations on human rights was developed by him. It was not only the human rights, but also it was the animal rights, the plants rights. You can see everything about all creatures on the planet. You see how developed it is 2,500 years ago. But now we are accused of not preserving human rights. Come, it's possible. It is that much. Even some of those countries with maybe 200, 300 years old, they are accusing us, which we have more than 3,000 years old with all those developments. At that time, and now even, even now, the minorities, religious minorities, have the best situation. Christian and Jews, they are living in Iran, and they have their own MPs in the parliament. While, while, The number of those peoples are less than the quota. For example, every 100,000 people has one MP in the parliament. Even they are less than that. But they have their own MPs in the parliament. But I'm sure any of you may have the same feeling. But when you go there, you will see it is different, totally different. Unfortunately, it is not only for my country. If you go to my country, ask the people about Africa, say, oh, I think it is desert. <laughs> Believe me, the people are dying of hunger. I said, no, come on, what you say? I'm living in Nairobi. The cost of living is almost the same as Switzerland. Can you believe that? The cost of living is very high, so it means it is developed. There were restrictions. We have our own tourists. I'm trying so hard to bring them here. Because when they are here, they will see what Kenya is. If they don't come, they cannot realize. No pictures, no movies, nothing will help them in that regard. But they have to come and see it by their own eyes. As the others has done for my country. When they went there, they saw the situation is totally different from what they have seen on media.